for men. And there was a curious and peculiar way in which the men actually responded to this. And the question was, would you use, you know, um, use of male condoms within the family setup with your lifelong partner? And it was no. They said they wouldn't use that. And the question is, we pursued and asked them why they wouldn't. They said, I would only use if I suspected my life, my partner of infidelity. But they would not use it otherwise. How then are we changing, as people who are already in this particular, how are you changing that perception that the use of male condoms only, or rather is perceived to be used when there's a case of infidelity? Yeah, and that is not entirely the case because then there are different reasons why someone will use male condoms, even in in in, in marriage setup. One yes. of them is as a contraceptive method. Two, it can be as a backup method in case you've undergone vasectomy. You can use it as a backup method for a particular duration, like usually thirty days. But discordant relationships. So sometimes you use it not just for contraception use, but as a form of supporting your partner so that you don't have to maybe. Uh, experience certain things in life that you could actually avoid by using male condoms. So it's, it's, it's usually a perception issue and then acceptability. But once we give information, once someone gets information and digests the reason why someone would use a male condom, then it's something that they can take up or we can take up. Mm -hmm. It's not really that uh, you shouldn't use it in marriage. No, it, people have used it and people still continue to use it. And it's recommended in terms of, in terms of dual protection against HIV, STDs and then uh, un unintended pregnancies. So it's something that we should adopt and actually encourage its use. Well, yeah. then there's need for a lot of education yes, and uh, you know, information around that because that's a general field. Now let's talk about you know,